Good morning and welcome to St. John's McGuanago's Morning Praise. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Hasten to save me, O God. O Lord, come quickly to help me. The Lord is risen. Let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. The deep places of the earth are in his hand. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hand formed the dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. The Lord is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Alleluia. This week after Easter, we have been pondering the question, why does the resurrection matter? We started off with answering it with victory. Victory is ours. We also talked about how it matters because that means that this is real. Christ's resurrection was real, so therefore my resurrection and your resurrection is real. The resurrection matters because it tells us that the body matters, that your body that will be put into the ground if if you die before Jesus comes as a perishable, as a weak, as a mortal thing will be raised as a beautiful, glorious thing. The body matters now and it matters forever in heaven when we have a body like Christ's glorious body. And yesterday we mentioned that our sins are paid for. That's why the resurrection matters. It matters because our sins have been crucified with Christ and we have been resurrected to live a new life now and forever. Today we'll ponder this answer. Why does the resurrection matter? Because it means that we're going to live forever in heaven and we get to see those who have gone before us as well. It matters because of what Job said, that we will stand upon the earth and we will see our Redeemer. So from Job chapter 19. Oh, that my words were recorded, that they were written on a scroll, that they were inscribed with an iron tool on lead or engraved in rock forever. I know that my Redeemer lives and that in the end he will stand upon the earth. And after my skin has been destroyed, yet in my flesh I will see God. I myself will see him with my own eyes. I am not another, how my heart yearns within me. Well, Job's words, they weren't probably engraved on a rock forever or inscribed with an iron tool. He wanted these words to last forever, and they did. They're written in Holy Scripture for us. In fact, we sing this song, don't we, in the Easter season, I know that my Redeemer lives. Job, you know the story. He had everything taken away from him, and yet his faith was strengthened by God's alien work of law and suffering so that he would get to this point where his faith was so bold that he would declare, I know that I will see my Lord. My Redeemer lives, and I will stand upon the earth, and I will see my Redeemer with my own very eyes. And that's important for Job because he says, I will stand with my own body and my own flesh. And if you recall, he said that precisely when his flesh was melting away because of the skin disease that had been given to him. And even though he was seeing himself die, rotting away, he knew that his body would stand upon the earth and he would see his Redeemer. His Redeemer would be alive and he would be alive too and it would be forever and ever. This is what we say at funerals, that we see this person again. This person lying in the coffin will stand and in their own flesh, they will see the Redeemer. And when my time comes, I will stand in this body with this flesh. I will stand upon the earth. I have a resurrection. I get to see those who have gone before. Funerals, Christian funerals are not the end. They are only a gate to eternal life. And because Christ has risen from the dead, those people were rise from the dead, and you and I, we get to see them with these eyes, and we get to stand with these bodies, and we get to be there with this flesh. Why does the resurrection matter? 
It matters because we do not say goodbye forever. We only say goodbye for a moment. That's why the resurrection matters. It is deeply personal. It is deeply moving. And it gives us a confidence that we find in nowhere else in our lives. Nowhere else do we have the confidence over sin, death, and the devil, like we do at the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And so we still sing these words, inscribed forever, not on stone, but on hearts. I know that my Redeemer lives. Amen. The Te Deum. We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as Lord. All creation worships you, Father everlasting. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim, sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of heavenly hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your glorious true and only Son, and the Holy Spirit advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you humbled yourself to be born of a virgin. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You sit at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that you will come to be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. In the morning, O Lord, I call to you. Be merciful to me and hear my prayer. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And we also pray. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us safely to this new day. Defend us with your mighty power and grant that this day we neither fall into sin nor run into any kind of danger. And in all we do, direct us to what is right in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. <laughs>